Hi everybody, this is Shane Adams with Riding with Agents and today we are with Heather Burke from Compass <laughs> and we are going to take a drive through Westlake Hills and if you've ever looked or researched into moving to Austin, you will know the best school district in the greater Austin area is Eanes Independent School District and sorry, I just heard a <laughs> loud horn, thought we were getting honked at, but Eanes is definitely by far the best school district in Austin and Bridgepoint Elementary is one of the six elementary schools that's part of Eanes. And so Heather is a native of Austin. Mm -hmm. She was born and raised here and then she spent 10 years in London and now she's back living in Austin, specifically in Westlake Hills yep. with her husband and three kids. And so what better person than give us to give us the tour than Heather? Yeah, I thought we would just show you guys around the Westlake Drive corridor, which is kind of um, zoned to two different schools. The northern half is zoned to Bridgepoint Elementary, which is where we are right now. And then the southern half is zoned to Eanes Elementary. So I thought we would start off at Bridgepoint Elementary and then drive down Westlake Drive and give you a tour. So this is one of the six elementaries in the Eanes ISD School District. And it's one of the newer ones. Um, and it, the families here love it. It's a great school. The families are very involved and it's just, it's just a really great environment. We've been really, ha my kids go here and they're really, they love it. So just for anybody following the route along on the map, uh, we are just to the west of 360 or capital of Texas Highway. And Westlake Hills is really on the eastern side, closer to the city. Um, but Bridge Point is just on the other side of 360. So we're just gonna give you a quick tour of this side um, off of Bunny Run, because it's also a very beautiful part of town and it's still zoned to Eanes. Yes, and we are, I think it's also worth mentioning that we're right by the Pennybacker Bridge, which is why the school is called Bridge Point. Um, and the Pennybacker Bridge is kind of an iconic landmark of Austin. Yeah, it is. It's, it's beautiful. And if ever you get a chance uh, to do the lookout, it's just a two minute hike to the top and you get a, you have beautiful views of uh, Lake Austin, which is the Colorado River, which is not the same Colorado River that carves through Colorado and makes the Grand Canyon. This Colorado River is just only within Texas. Um, so you get beautiful views of the river, the lake, um, one of the same, the Austin Country Club, and also downtown views. So we're coming up here on Bunny Run, which is uh, a road that runs behind the school with some really beautiful homes. It's worth, I think it's worth taking a look at. As I was just um, telling Shane, people really love this area because we have really low property tax rates. Well, it's low for, for Austin. I think one of the lowest in Austin. Um, this area is about 1.8% and further down Westlake Drive, it, it gets all the way down into the one sixes. And compare that to some places in South Central Austin, maybe Travis Heights or Bolden Creek or Zilker. Those places are gonna be up to, I think some spots up to 2.8%. And in this price range, if you're interested in Westlake Hills, you're definitely looking north of a million for most homes, if not three to five million. And so just for example, take a $3 million house, um, a 1% difference in property taxes is $30,000 a year or $2,500 a month. And of course you get a, a tax write off for that, but $2,500 a month is, is pretty substantial. and equates to anywhere from, you know, that could be another 500 to $750,000 on a purchase price that you could afford if you have that 1% lower tax rate. That's a lot. So we do have a local celebrity who lives up the street. We're not going to uh, show you where exactly, but um, we'll just uh, continue on. He really likes his privacy, um, but it's uh, Mr. M Matthew McConaughey. And did you know he actually now has a, an official title at UT? No, I didn't know that. So he, he he's a professor there. Okay. Some sort of professor wow. for, um, I think like, you know, film studies or something obviously in the in the film and the arts, but he's now the uh, minister of culture 
Oh, interesting. As well. Okay. I mean, if you've ever been to UT basketball game, uh, oftentimes you will see McConaughey there, which is pretty exciting. And he's actually in the like, kind of like on the bench, like right there oh, wow. in the huddle. It's, it's oh my god, that's cool. He is a cool. local celebrity, but you know, to be fair, there's a lot of celebrities moving to Austin, and there's quite a few yeah. in Westlake. Um, you know, Michael Dial actually has a pretty big piece of land in the Westlake Hills area as well. And actually, Michael Dell, he started Dell back in this college dorm at UT, right? Was it UT? I, th I think so. Um, I I'm think at sure. Texas <laughs> University. Anyhow, he's he's living in Texas. He's been here for a long time. And uh, people actually call them Dellinaires because all the people who kind of grew with Dell and with Michael Dell obviously became very wealthy themselves. Mm -hmm. And so that's one of the first things I learned when I moved to Austin in 2013 is Delanaires and they own, you know, a lot of them now are obviously um, just, you know, a little bit more mature as far as age wise, 50s, 60s and so forth. And they own homes in Westlake Hills yep. and throughout some of the affluent neighborhoods in Austin. So we are, we're just crossing 360 right now and we're entering into the northern part of Westlake Drive is a neighborhood called Davenport Ranch, which is a beautifully well-planned neighborhood. A lot of the homes have beautiful hill country views um, and some extend all the way down to Lake Austin. Uh, so it just runs pretty much um, parallel to 360. And at the heart of Davenport Village is, West, is Davenport Village Market where you have a popular Mexican restaurant, Chinese, there's a cigar bar, a wine lounge, um, pretty much everything that, that you would need. Boy, did I take that turn too early? I think that, yeah, but you can just take um, a ride out here. Perfect. So we're gonna just do a little pit stop by Austin Country Club, um, another iconic Austin institution. Oh, you might have to loop around here, um, but it's, it's got the most spectacular location. It's uh, the golf course is right, backs up to the Lake Austin with the backdrop of the Pennybacker Bridge. Yeah, and every year the Dell Match Play, a PGA tournament, is hosted here at Austin Country Club. So if you're an avid golfer or fan, definitely come and check that out. It's a unique style of of play for the PGA. And also, if, if you are looking at country clubs in Austin, we have a number of them. Um, Austin Country Club is by far the, I guess, the most renowned, um, the most, uh, kind of the most expensive, longest wait list, yeah. so forth, you name it. Um, so there's definitely a wait list. Mm -hmm. You probably need to know somebody. Um, some other country clubs in the area are Barton Creek Country Club, the Lost Creek Country Club, and then the one right there in Terrytown. The Westwood Country Club. Westwood yeah. Country Club. Um, so what is the wait list like for Barton Creek Country Club? Um, I think it depends if, you know, there, a lot of these places have different levels of so social, tennis, okay. and then golf. And I don't know if there's a current wait list. Um, I think there may be for golf, but the Barton Creek Country Club is a little unique in that if you're in Barton Creek, there's a mandatory social membership. Okay. So just by buying a house there, you, you, you know, it's kind of like an HOA dude. Okay. You're paying to be part of the social club there. And it comes with a lot of perks, an amazing fitness center, and they have a kids club, so you can oh, go nice. work out, have dinner, um, and they, they watch your kids. Yeah, I think Austin Country Club offers the same. Um, but these homes, it, yeah, just to even get on the social, get a social membership, there's a pretty lengthy wait. So here's the entrance probably just have to turn around but you can see um, a little bit of the golf course here um, and they're going through a major refurbishment right now as well I'd like to show you um, I think up here it's our first left there's a street called Churchill Downs and the homes are just spectacular and they sit right on the golf course okay and actually when I put the navigation in here it it seems to kind of have messed up, so you'll just have to. I'll just I'll point. Tell me yeah, like the, okay. main, the main yeah. turns. So this, I have, I think, it? the end I address. I think this is it right here, uh, Churchill Downs. Yep. Yes.
So these homes are right on the golf the course? The ones on the left-hand side are on the golf course. And they're, they're beautiful. I was lucky enough to go to a party during the Dell match play at one of these homes. Oh, cool. And uh, that was a, a pretty cool experience. Yeah, I went for the first time last year. It was it was really fun. I love the kind of archway some of these trees were making over the, mm -hmm. the street and the sidewalk, just beautiful. That's a good observation. I would say all of this area has the trees everywhere, you know, arching over the street and you, you really feel like you're in a beautiful neighborhood in the woods. Um, and, and yet we're what 15 and we're, minutes yeah, we're, from downtown exactly. 20 minutes from the airport so and i think further to that as well is i think it's worth mentioning that there's green belts woven in and out of all these neighborhoods so your kids can literally run in the backyard and be running in the woods and be out there in nature and you're still you're still not living remotely you are practically downtown so it's a great combination you know they're trying to connect Austin to San Antonio through green belts. What? Um, yeah, it's uh, obviously a, a long roadmap because uh, all the different jurisdictions. But um, I love the the Barton Creek green belt, which goes from downtown, right, Zilker, which connects you to the Lady Bird Lake uh, Trail, that 10 mile loop around the lake downtown. Yeah. And then it goes all the way up into. It basically ends at the Lost Creek Country Club. You could get all the way from downtown to the oh, Lost wow. Creek Country I didn't Club. Know that. Just trail running or mountain biking or hiking. And I think that's that's something that's cool about Austin is that it will never be totally built up because there's so much of Austin that is designated green belt that will never yeah. get developed or touched. Or the various preserves we yeah. have. Yeah. So Davenport Ranch actually backs up to the Wild Basin Preserve, which is almost, gosh, I think 300 acres of uh, nature, a wild nature sanctuary, um, and it's got three miles of trails. Um, so there's so much opportunity to, to get out and, and do things in nature. And do you want to, we can take a left here. Sure, let's do it. And what we're trying to do with this tour is uh, really show you what it would be like to live in one of these neighborhoods in one of these houses you know would you want your kids just to go loose riding their bikes until it's dark you know would you want to walk your dog in the neighborhood is it more of an urban type of feel or, or what have you so hopefully that's what you're getting and at the same time we want to educate you on kind of the, the different facts or you know us opining on what it's like to actually be a resident here yeah um, but, but so that's, I mean, so we go down Westlake Drive and it's really a series of different neighborhoods and they all kind of have a little bit of a different feel to them. Um, this is the Westlake Drive is the main thoroughfare, but then you'll see offshoots to the different neighborhoods as we go. And so as far as commuting, some people, you know, you could take 360 depending on where you're going, um, or you could just take Westlake drive and I think most people going into the city you either take Westlake down to Bee Caves uh, or Redbud Trail or Redbud yeah Redbud Trail over and what's that street you turn right um Lake of Austin Boulevard Lake Austin yeah. Boulevard that's right and that takes you right downtown it takes you downtown or if you take a left there's Hula Huts which is a restaurant like a Mexican Hawaiian restaurant right on the lake and then um, also Mozart and Mozart the coffee which is shop. also like in iconic Austin landmark where you can go for a coffee right on the lake. Do you ever go there during Christmas? I do, but it's a zoo. <laughs> yeah, they have an, an incredible light display. I think um, you can book, do you have to book tickets now? Nowadays, I, I think you yeah. do. Okay. Yeah, we already looked and they're booked all the way through. Oh, January, I'm sure. Right, at the end of uh, the season. Um, so, um, people will call, you know, you have Silicon Valley in uh, California and people are starting to call this Silicon Hills. Um, just playing off of the tech presence that we now have in Austin mm -hmm. and also the, the hilly environment of West Austin. So, I mean, when I, whenever I have people visiting and they come to my house, I'm in Barton Creek, not too far from here. Um, they're just always surprised at how green Austin is and also how hilly it is. Oh, yeah. I, 
think um, I think people are surprised about that. That it's actually a really beautiful city. We have the lake and we have the hill country. So I think we'll take um, your next ride. It's um, this one up here. Yes, cassava. So we're so we're going up this hill here, and all the homes on the left have a canyon. Um, canyon view and then at the end of the road we'll see the entrance to Michael Dell's place um, he his home is perched up on top of the hill um, and he has spectacular views of all of Westlake nice. so and then we'll take your first left up here and this will loop us back around so this is the entrance here to his home. This one at the yes. corner? Wow. You can't see much, but it looks pretty, pretty spectacular. No, I think I see an amazing live oak in there. So is that our city uh, tree or state tree, the live um, oak? You know Do what? you know? I don't know. I know the, uh, you'll see live oaks all throughout Austin. Um, and they're just beautiful, gorgeous trees like these on the left. Um, you also have, unfortunately, right now is a terrible time for people with allergies. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called cedar fever, but it's actually from juniper trees. And around December, January, they blossom and you'll just, your car will be covered in, in yellow um, mm -hmm. pollen. Um, so, you know, if you have any juniper trees. Uh, so we'll take the first here not not the greatest for those affected by allergies yeah that's that's one thing a lot of people suffer with allergies here so this is Toro Canyon um, another major road through the area yeah Toro kind of stays on the, the high side yeah right, the western side of Westlake Drive yes yes that is correct and a lot of the homes going up on Toro Canyon have the beautiful hill country views and then we'll take a right here on Westlake Drive. So I, I think it's worth noting, noting another thing that people love about this area is the close proximity to the lake. Westlake Drive runs parallel to Lake Austin and a lot of people love spending time on the lake even if they don't live on the lake you can have access to the lake. There's Lake Austin Marina that has uh, docks that you can rent out, and then a lot of private dock owners rent out their slips as well. So. And I know there's even companies where it's uh, kind of a membership, a yes, subscription. Yes, a boat club as well. A boat club where yeah. you could pay X amount of dollars yeah. a month, and you just call them up and you say, yeah. hey, I want to take a wakeboarding boat or yeah. a pontoon, mm -hmm. and they'll have it ready to go for you. Which is nice if you don't want the commitment. Uh, but a lot of people spend their weekends on the lakes around here. It's just so easy. You can decide in a minute's notice if you want to go out for a few hours. Actually, that's uh, when my wife's parents came to Austin to visit us for the first time. We booked a, we hired a, a boat, um, kind of like a captain and just a small wakeboarding boat to do a three hour tour. And so we basically had a tour oh, by nice. lake. Yeah. Um, and that was amazing because the views it's are so fun. Are great. Yeah. And there's like some fun restaurants. Um, where you can just dock up your boat and hop off and have a quick meal and, and go. It's just a really fun thing to do in Austin. So yeah, so all these homes on the left overlook, or actually sat right on the lake. And then there's also some neighborhoods that have boat slips as a feature of the neighborhood as well. So if that's important, we can definitely narrow down the search to homes or neighborhoods where you would have that boat access, that boat dock access. And I can, I'll point those out as we, as we pass them. And as far as lots like tear down and rebuild, so um, these homes are very high priced um, for, I mean, some of the most expensive homes in Austin, if not the most yes. expensive homes yeah. are in Austin are yeah. Westlake Hills. And so the lots, especially if you're looking at a lot on the water, mm -hmm. uh, you're talking about several million dollars. Yes. Um, yeah. You know, you could easily be paying $4 million for 
a lot on on the lake or even just in one of these neighborhoods a, a few million dollars for a lot yes that is correct i mean it, on the west lake side of lake austin you'll probably pay yeah you'll pay millions for sure um and on so on the opposite side of lake austin is um is that whole area is zoned towards austin isd so you'll find that those properties are cost a little bit less than they do on this on the southern side the west lake side yeah yeah in austin isd it's the largest school district in the greater austin area i think it has about 140 schools and 74,000 students um and it, it really varies on the quality of schools based on where you live um, now note that about half of the property taxes that we pay that go to schools are actually part of recapture meaning in the state of texas um, they move around the property tax money that goes to the schools and they move it around to different areas mm -hmm. of the state to help kind of lower income areas yeah. uh, supplement you know the property taxes that they would otherwise right only here. have yeah um that was called the robin hood act um, where they redistribute all the funds and all the schools kind of have an even share. So, um, so I would say it's, you know, you definitely still have a, a difference of quality of school based on the fluency of the neighborhood, but not as drastic as you would without yes, the Robin Hood. There's Act. a lot of, so that's why we have the booster club. We have a lot of, um, different ways of raising funds just for our school that, that people donate separately which kind of take it up to that kind of private school level. And you could you could put in requests to get transferred to a different school. Like I know oh, yeah. in some neighborhoods that are zoned to Austin ISD, they will put in requests to get into Ames. Yes, yes. I know a lot of people that have done, yeah, take the left here, um, that have uh, transferred in. Um, we have a Spanish program, so people will transfer in to be a part of that program. It's a Spanish immersion program. Um, but they are, especially Bridgepoint, Bridgepoint is the largest of the schools. So they, they're actually built for, it was actually built for growth. So, um, most likely kids do get in left. if they live close. Right. A left, sorry. We'll take a left and then a right on Westlake Drive again. So I, I just want to point out, this is called Westrum. It's called Old Westrum. It was built around 1990. Um, and these homes have a larger plot of land, um, but one of the key features of, of this neighborhood is that they have a huge private park that's right on the lake, and we can drive by that. And the park comes with boat slips, it has a playground, a tennis court, basketball court, and an entertaining pavilion. Um, so that's a huge feature for this neighborhood. They have all their holiday parties down there. And it's probably the only neighborhood that has something like that. Wow. Um, so we'll take a right here. And now we're back on Westlake Drive. And then we're about to, coming up here on the left, we're gonna pass a neighborhood called St. Tropez on the lake. Um, and they also have boat slips as a feature of their neighborhood. Um, they have a range of different size homes, um, really tight knit community. Um, and this is it right here, St. Tropez. Would you like me to turn in? Um, no, we'll keep just, going. We'll just take the next left and I'll, we'll, I'll take you down by the Westlake Marina and the Western Park. So Heather, how many of these neighborhoods are, so there's a lot of houses directly off of Westlake mm -hmm. Drive, which as you can see, some are gated, some aren't, but um, how many of these neighborhoods are gated in this Westlake Hills area versus not? Oh, uh, that's right, a good is it, question. There's some that's that are and question. some that I aren't, would probably, right? Yeah, I would probably say, um, I'd probably say there's less that are gated than, than aren't. Um, I can probably think of like six off Westlake Drive that are gated. Um, there's a newer Westrum, there's it's called Westrum Estates and that's gated. Um, okay, so this here on the right is the um, Westlake Marina where they have um, the boat slips you can rent. There is a wait list, but they also have the boat club as well if you don't yeah. want the commitment, which is appealing to a lot of people. Um, I don't, I don't know if you can see down there. And then we'll drive further down. It kind of loops back around. And then there's um, condos here uh, on the right uh, that are right on the lake as well. 
and there's a new development. Um, it's called Doc Dockominiums, um, where you can buy a boat dock, but it's supposed to have this kind of club environment. I think they're going to put in a restaurant, and it's all very high end. Um, so you're basically buying into ownership for your boat dock. Um, and I'll show you that when we pass it. There's a little lake view right there. Yeah. And we call it a lake, but again, it's just the Colorado River that's dammed up. Yeah. So you might hear Lake Travis, that's a little bit farther out west. Um, lake Austin, Ladybird Lake, Town Lake. They're just all different sections of the Colorado River that are dammed up. Okay, so this, oh, it's right here. Sorry, it was greened off here. Um, it's called West Harbor. It's, they're called it dock dominiums, but it's kind of a boat dock club, if you will. And then where you see this white brick wall is where the Westrum Park is. That's a beautiful live oak right there. Yeah, so here it is. You can see the, oh, you can maybe, you can, yeah, you can see the part, uh, the playground in there. They've, I think they've got 20, 25 boat slips. Um, it's really a great location. And then all these homes here along the right are um, waterfront homes. I think it's definitely worth, if you're coming to visit Austin, it's definitely worth um, doing like what you did and getting a tour of the lake because you get a totally different perspective when yeah. you're on the lake and you can see all the houses um, and it's just a really cool experience. Yeah and a little bit more about Ian. So they have one high school and that's uh, Westlake High School and uh, they definitely are the top high school um, in town, one of the top high schools in the state and nation when it comes to not just academics but also athletics. I know for 2020, their average ACT score was a 29.2, uh, which puts my ACT score of 28 to shame. Um, and then uh, a 99% college acceptance mm -hmm. rate, which is just ridiculous. Mm -hmm. um, and then on the athletics front, uh, they have, they're the only high, high school with two Super Bowl MVP quarterbacks being Nick Foles and Drew Brees. Yes, I went to school with Drew Brees. <laughs> oh, did you really? Yeah, so yeah he, he was older than me, but. Um, and that would have been, yeah. that's, did you ever go to any of the games? I did, but you know what? His senior year, he had a torn ACL. So, really? So yes, he didn't he even did. play. No, he didn't play. And I think that, um, I think, I could be wrong, but I, I feel like he ended up being a walk-on at Purdue. Because I know, right? Uh, because he had that torn ACL, but yeah. Well, growing up in the St. Louis suburbs, um, I was a Rams fan, and our big uh, quarterback, Super Bowl winning quarterback, Kurt Warner, he was bagging groceries when he got called. Oh, wow. So, you know, sometimes it's I love face these some stories. adversity. Yes, and, exactly. He knew something was great for him. But also during uh, kind of the depth of COVID, I remember reading that Westlake was investing $2.4 million into some standard robotics lab. Mm. I'm just thinking about my high school, again, outside of St. Louis and St. Charles County, we did not have a robotics lab. No. <laughs> you know, that was not no. something we had. And so uh, it, it just shows that Westlake is is definitely a top tier. A lot school. of investment, yeah. I mean, we didn't. I went to Westlake High School, and we didn't have the robotics lab way back then, a million years <laughs> ago. But um, there's always so much investment going into the school, and the community is a hundred percent behind it. Um, and they just, I feel like they excel at everything they put their minds to. Um, I think they also just did a huge wrestling arena at Westlake too. Yeah, yeah, that was which a, is a new addition. Other thing I remember. It's pretty cool to see. So we are coming up on, so this is, if you remember earlier, we were on Toro Canyon and that kind of loops around and we're about to um, run into Toro Canyon again here, which is this road on your right up ahead. And then we're gonna be heading into Westlake Hills. And so 
it, it's kind of confusing, but <laughs> I think for locals, we consider West Lake in West Lake Hills kind of the same thing. And, yeah. and it's all kind of this entire region um, bounded by 360 and yes. the lake. And yeah. Kind of north of Rollingwood. Yeah. Um, but technically, there's West Lake Hills, which is its own city. It's not even the city of yeah. Austin. You have West Lake Hills, mm -hmm. and then you have Austin which is still what locals refer to as Westlake Hills, yeah. but it's not technically within the city limits of Westlake Hills. So that entire time we spent was actually in <laughs> the city of Austin, and now we're just entering Westlake Hills. Yes. But it's but West Westlake Hills, the town of Westlake Hills, is zoned for Eanes Elementary. So we are heading yes. into the Eanes Elementary territory. And what's interesting is Eanes Elementary was the first school in Eanes ISD. It was actually founded in the late 1800s. Um, oh, wow. So it's the oldest school and it's very much loved. It's it's kind of, a, um, they call it an outdoor school because you, you walk out your classroom and you're outside. Uh, there's no indoor hallways. Yes. Yeah, so it's we, an amazing view of downtown. Um, so our newest tallest building in the state of Texas is uh, the building that's getting topped out right now. Austin, Facebook was supposed to take all the office space, um, but now they are subleasing it all just because of the kind of downturn of the market. Oh, interesting. Um, but uh, we've had, I mean, in the past 10 years, we've had so many high rises go up mm -hmm. and there's so many more planned. Mm -hmm. I like to say our uh, our city bird is the building crane. <laughs> it has so in recent years. Yeah. Downtown has totally changed. But I feel like, you know, having grown up here and moving back, I feel like Austin's just become just a hipper, cooler version of, of what it was. We have all these cool restaurants and a lot of really cool things happening. Um, ACL has really taken off the music festival scene. Um, and what's nice is, so I don't like having to make reservations going out know, to eat. Yeah. But what's nice is, and hopefully we don't make them, you know, too popular by disclosing them. But the, like, some of my favorites are still just kind of local ones that yeah. don't get much. Like, what's your you favorite? Know, publicity. Um, my favorite Mexican restaurant is Polvo's. Oh, Pol uh, uh, oh, on like on Lamar. On, I think work? South First, South, yeah, okay. South First, and now yeah, they actually have good. one downtown too. Okay, um, that's just my favorite Mexican restaurant. I mean, I far. like Madi's, but it's probably because it's so convenient for me. It's yeah, the Mexican yeah. restaurant in Davenport Village Market. Um, I think it's really good, really good margaritas. Kids love it. The best place for breakfast tacos, like on the weekend with kids, is a place called Donut Taco Palace. Oh my gosh, it's, I've been there. Have you been there? Yes. It's their sausage, <laughs> egg, and cheese tacos are amazing, and then they have good donuts. They have good um, donuts, yeah. Yeah, but we're there at like 6.30 in the oh morning my gosh. with two really excited kids. That's Probably so every funny. weekend we have, to, we have to make a stop. I like the place because they do the donuts in letters. So one year I got like, it was like, happy Father's Day or something. You can get anything written out in letter in donut letters. Oh, that's cool. Which is kind of... I made the trip. It's down in South, it's Sunset Valley, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. South Austin. So we're just coming up onto Bee Caves Road. Uh, where at the end of Bee Caves Road, uh, sorry, at the end of Westlake Drive, where it hits Bee Caves Road, is Trinity Private School, which is a really prominent private school in the area. And then just next to that is Eanes Elementary, which we were talking about before. Yeah, and so some of these street names are confusing. Uh, B Cave, is it B Cave Boulevard? B Cave, uh, Road? B Caves Road. Yeah, B Cave Road. It goes all the way to Mopac or Highway 1, which is um, one of the kind of north south main yeah. um, kind of highways in Austin. But so that's all the way to Austin, and then it cuts through Rolling Wood, it cuts through Westlake Hills, mm -hmm. it cuts through kind of like Barton Creek, and it goes all the way to Bee Cave, the city, um, kind of farther west uh, Austin. I'm oh, sorry, just this, um, when we hit the Bee Caves Road. Okay, sure. Um, so, yeah, so it connects Mopac, 
to 360 as well. So you'll cross through 360 yeah. to get all the way down to the city. So here's Trinity. Trinity, just Trinity yeah. And so if we were to take a left right there, that would be the Rolling Wood um, neighborhood. Yes, and then Eames is up here, this building on the left. I think if you want to um, just go, actually go straight and we'll take a left and to the school if we can. So this is Eames Elementary. Yes. And Eames High School, or Westlake High School, which yeah. is the only high school for Eames, yeah. it's just maybe what a mile two mile left of uh, probably yeah maybe like half a mile okay. just on this road um so eans um so rolling wood is zoned to eans as well and this west lake hills area and then also lost creek which is just to the west of yes. 360. lost creek is um valley view and um forest trail and then, okay yeah perfect and then west lake high school yeah And I would say, yeah, Lost Creek is almost like a, a more affordable version of Westlake Hills, right? It's not, you don't have the water there, but if you still want to get into Eanes, uh, Lost, Lost Creek is, is probably one of the more like, affordable neighborhoods to get into Eanes. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. And you've got the, um, over there you have the Lost Creek Country Club as well. Um, yeah, so this is this is Eames, and this is what I was talking about. It's kind of all outdoor, indoor. You don't Very have cool. any hallways. Everything is kind of you open your door and you're outside. All right. Well, that was Westlake Hills, and thank you for watching, everybody. Again, my name is Shane Adams, and we have Heather Burke, <laughs> and we hope you enjoyed the tour. Please check out our blog post. Um, please check out the neighborhood page. If you go to ridingwithagents.com slash Austin slash West uh, hyphen Lake hyphen Hills, you will see our neighborhood guide about everything West Lake Hills. You can view the video there as well as read about points of interest and more information about the schools, whether it's private or public schools, about things to do and what it's like living here. Uh, so Heather, thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right, take care guys.